Saying the universe is big would be an understatement. We know the universe is huge. Some would even say it's infinite. Towards the end of this video, we will visually look at the size of the observable universe for what we can claim with some certainty. If we're trying to get a sense for how big the universe is, it helps to figure out what we mean in the first place when we're talking about the universe. You'll sometimes hear the term the universe separated from what is considered the observable universe. That's because we know there's a lot out there that we not only can't see, but simply can't reach or quantify with any technology available to us. So let's begin by asking, what is the universe? Well, basically the universe is everything. It's space, including the parts we can't see and don't know about. It's the stars, the planets and the galaxies and the supermassive black holes which are at the center of most galaxies. The universe contains stars the size of our entire solar system, right down to the atoms that make up your computer screen. It's time, dark matter, and nothingness. The universe began with the Big Bang. Space, matter, and everything we know of, even time, didn't exist prior to the Big Bang. Or rather, it existed in one concentrated point. After the explosion, the universe has been slowly expanding over billions of years, and all that matter is drifting further and further apart. In fact, the rate at which the universe is expanding is one of the key pieces of information used to establish how old the universe actually is, which is estimated to be around 13.8 billion years old. When you think of the fact that the Earth is only about 4.6 billion years old, and that it's estimated to be 6 million years ago the first humans walked this Earth, you get a sense of just how long that actually is. To put this in perspective, if we scale this down to fit in a single calendar year, with the Big Bang happening on January 1st, our solar system doesn't appear until early September, with the first humans appearing on December 31st, seven minutes before midnight. In our galaxy alone, there are billions of stars, and in the observable universe, there are trillions of galaxies. Even with that many stars and galaxies in the universe, they only account for 5% of the ingredients that make up the universe. The other 27% is dark matter, and 68% is dark energy, neither of which has ever been seen on Earth. What dark matter and dark energy are remains a mystery. Dark matter was discovered when scientists calculated that the universe's mass and gravity is not aligned with the observable objects. The gravity from the observable objects is not enough to hold stars and galaxies together. From here, they concluded there must be something else that holds the universe together, and that is dark matter. Dark matter is also visible through its interaction with other objects. For example, where light bends around an object or area, scientists can conclude that the area contains a lot of dark matter. Brown dwarfs, which have failed stars that are bigger than planets but don't have enough mass to become stars, and white dwarfs, the degenerate core material which exists after the death of a star, may also make up some of this unexplained mass. But dark matter is considered that which does not appear to interact with the electromagnetic field, and therefore doesn't emit or absorb radiation. On the other hand, scientists only found out about dark energy in the 1990s, when they noticed the universe behaved in a way that it shouldn't. Theoretically, the universe's expansion should slow down due to gravitational force. However, the observation of distant supernovae from the Hubble Space Telescope showed that the universe's expansion was slower a long time ago. This means the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate. Scientists didn't know how to explain this phenomenon, but they were certain something must have caused the universe to behave this way. To this day, we still don't know how to define dark energy or what it exactly is. In one version of Einstein's theory of gravity, he suggests it is possible for more space to come into existence, contrary to what we generally believe to be true about matter in space, that it can neither be created nor destroyed. Dark energy is thought to be a property of space itself, and therefore is not diluted as space expands, but remains constant in its relation to space and makes the universe expand increasingly faster. In summary, dark matter and dark energy are like opposing forces. Dark matter holds the universe together, and dark energy causes the universe to expand. 
Let's now revisit our original question. How big is the universe? To start, let's visualize the size by first looking at our own planet. The distance across Earth spans 7,917 miles, or about 12,741 kilometers. Zooming out a bit further, we take a look at the Kuiper Belt, which expands across the entire distance of our solar system, and is approximately 50 AU. An AU is a unit of measure that stands for astronomical unit, and is the equivalent of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. 1 AU is an estimated 149,597,879 kilometers, or 92,955,807 miles in total distance. Looking out even further than the Kuiper Belt, we now reach the interstellar neighborhood, which is 30 light years across, or approximately 1.9 million astronomical units. Going even further out, we take a look at our very own Milky Way galaxy, which spans across a total distance of 100,000 light years. As you can see, that tiny dot right there is the solar interstellar neighborhood, of which we are now at the point where you cannot see our sun anymore. Continuing to zoom out, we are now looking at the local galactic group, which consists of the Milky Way galaxy among other galaxies in our universe. The total distance across the galactic group spans 10 million light years. The galactic group is part of an even bigger group of galaxies known as the Virgo supercluster. The Virgo supercluster spans across a total distance of 110 million light years and contains the Milky Way galaxy and at least another 100 galaxy groups. But to scale this even further, the Virgo supercluster is part of another bigger group of galaxies known as the Laniakea supercluster. The Laniakea supercluster contains the Milky Way galaxy along with approximately another 100,000 surrounding nearby galaxies and is a total distance of 520 million light years from one end to the other. And to finally scale this even further, we look out past the Laniakea supercluster to find the observable universe which spans across a total of 93 billion light years from end to end. This observable universe is everything we know to be in existence and contains two trillion other galaxies within the observable universe itself. But remember, this is only the observable universe for what is possible to see and comprehend to any degree of understanding. So now that you have your head wrapped around how big the observable universe is, how do scientists measure this universe given the unthinkable size? One of the most extraordinary scientific techniques used to measure what we know of the universe is measuring something called baryonic acoustic oscillations. These fill the cosmic microwave background and are echoes from the very early universe. Scientists also use sources of light, called candles, things like supernovae events, as fixed points from which to measure distance. Scientists using a combination of these two methods of measuring concluded that the entire universe itself might be as much as 250 times larger than what we can observe, making it somewhere close to an estimated 7 trillion light years across, or possibly even bigger, as nobody really knows for certain. To put this in perspective, imagine the size of our current observable universe being as big as a plastic water bottle, but then realizing everything in the unobservable universe is actually the size of the moon. Now, imagine this water bottle being in the center of the moon, but everybody in the observable universe that was inside this water bottle had no idea or understanding of the moon around the water bottle. This is a similar comparison to how big the unobservable universe actually might be. Of course, the size of the universe is also affected by its shape. While it's tempting to envision the universe as a sphere, which would make the universe finite and bounded, other scientists suggest it is negatively curved like a saddle, and therefore infinite. Still other astrophysicists and scientific bodies, including NASA, make the extraordinary claim that within a 0.4 margin of error, the universe is almost certainly flat and infinite. Since we know the universe began at a fixed point in time, and since we ourselves exist at a fixed point in time, we are only able to view one slice of this infinity. At the moment, we have the ability to see billions of galaxies, 
each of them containing billions of stars and expanding billions of light years in all directions. Beyond these, we still see the leftover glow from the Big Bang. Our ability to physically explore the universe is sadly constrained. If we set out at the speed of light, we would only ever be able to reach approximately 3% of the observable universe, given the speed at which it is expanding. So, in the meantime, we rely on science and mathematics. We have developed extraordinary telescopes, like the Hubble, capable of reaching vast distances. We have sent probes far into our own solar system, and although each year our ability to explore gets more sophisticated, getting information back takes a great deal of time, given the extraordinary distances we're trying to cover. Of course, we'll probably never really be able to conceptualize just how large the universe is or how much is in it. And within our lifetimes, we're unlikely to even get a good grasp on what exactly dark matter and dark energy consist of. Life on Earth has existed for 3.8 billion years, but the mysteries of the universe are likely to be around for much, much longer than that. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you've liked what you've seen, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to keep on top of all our new stories. See you in the next video.